Thank you so much for coming out to develop a day. Uh, and especially big thank you to the partners who stood with us here on the virtual stage um, today to share their knowledge uh, and to help uh, the community and all the other partners and Atlassian with their uh, experience and history and knowledge. And I, I really appreciate that. Um, there are more partners at this event than we could list, but a uh, special shout out thanks to Collapsoft, Adaptivist, Siebert Media, Polymetis, Elements, and AppFire. Uh, look, events like this are a chance to make a connection. Um, we've always fostered a very fabulous community uh, in the Atlassian developer ecosystem and uh, for us to all share how we're creating opportunities for the community to continue to grow in terms of developers. And so I really appreciate this. Um, you know, since the early versions of our plugin framework, for those that remember the first versions of OSGI-based extensibility, um, plugins 1.0, uh, for those who've been around a long time, was written on some planes and some frustration. And uh, it, it set our um, core DNA of extensibility very early on in Atlassian's history. And it's something we've always prided ourselves on. Um, it's uh, matured a lot as products have changed, platforms changed, the ecosystem and community has changed, but extensibility has always been a core product value. And you see that we are trying to move that into the cloud and still keep the core value of extensibility at the same time as, as valuing you know, customer security and data security and all the challenges that we've got on. So I really appreciate everyone who's with us on that journey. Um, there's no doubt that the developer ecosystem is a huge value multiplier for Atlassian, for our customers. And what I love seeing is for the developers themselves. It is incredible to see developers building businesses, creating jobs, driving innovation, providing value to customers, uh, I can still remember the very first uh, person in the ecosystem way back at Atlas Camp who told me they were hiring an employee and that blew me away. Um, and now there are many, many tens and uh, uh, some hundreds of person companies in the developer ecosystem, which is just phenomenal if you think of where we've been on that journey. Um, and we're not not stopping here. You know, we still feel like we are in the early stages of the journey. Um, I do think the cloud transition, uh, as we continue to build it out and mature it, has huge potential and possibility for um, for our developers and for our customers. Um, and, you know, we continue to strive for a future where the value from uh, the community, uh, the developer ecosystem exceeds the value that Atlassian provides. That's, um, that's, that's a long-term goal of ours and we would like to continue to push in that direction. So thank you very much. And now we'll take a few questions from the community. Sure, it's a, it's a common question, I suppose. Um, there's two ways to think about this. In terms of where Atlassian is moving, uh, I assume most people watching are quite clear that the, the cloud is a huge journey for us, that we have to get there um, for our customers, for ourselves, and we have to do that with the security compliance and all the uh, tricky parts that come with the cloud, and also embracing a lot of the benefits that come with the cloud um, in terms of uh, our ability to operate uh, um, extensions more cheaply, et cetera. We are constantly creating APIs and extension points for developers to build uh, into Atlassian products. Let's create new opportunities. Um, please track progress of that on your public roadmaps. And, and we do genuinely love your feedback. We're trying to continue to work out how best to uh, run that loop back and forth to the community so that we do that as efficiently as we can. Um, it's a genuine goal of ours. And um, I know we're trying really hard at that. Secondly, obviously there's new products. Um, that we are trying to ship with better extensibility from scratch. Sometimes some of our new products haven't had that extensibility. I think you can see with Compass and Atlas uh, and with JPD increasingly uh, and with other stuff we have coming, we're trying to bake forge and extensibility in from the start, uh, as well as work on you know, multi-product add-ons and all sorts of things that are exciting and coming. So uh, important to stay in tune with the customer feedback um, for yourselves Keep identifying high value use cases. The, the creativity of the use cases that people find in the customer base is really important. And that's what our, our customers want from their apps. And um, thank you for continuing to do that. Sure, understand that's a, a topic of some concern and, and, and rightfully so. Um, it's been an incredibly important stepping stone for us to the cloud and, and many of our partners have built very successful businesses on Connect, right? And that's what makes it challenging. Um, Connect is based on uh, a set of technologies that were 
probably best in class eight to 10 years ago uh, and it's continued to mature and are now probably not best in class. And if you ask customers about what they would prefer to use, it's it's Forge and the way Forge is structured and thought. And if you look at other SaaS products, I believe that Forge model is the way that you're going to see uh, much more extensibility built. Um, it doesn't take away from the value of Connect and getting here and the value that's been provided by Connect all the time. So if you look forward, we, we are facing increasing pressure and will likely deprecate some of the insecure technologies in Connect, remote iframes, JWT or stuff like this, as we continue to raise the bar for um, security for our customers. It is good for customers. It's good for the ecosystem. I understand if you've built something relying on those technologies, that is challenging. Um, and the speed of the cloud transition, I understand, is, is very challenging. It's challenging for Atlassian, which is equally challenging for, for our partners. Um, we are continuing to working to take some of the burden off uh, app security, data security off the um, partners themselves so they can get to adding real customer value. But um, I understand that's that's challenging. So so keep talking to us. That's generally a, a direction that you'll, you'll see us go, um, being customer-led. Uh, at the same time, obviously, continuing to invest heavily in Forge um, to make it a more flexible platform, able to handle more of these use cases. Uh, and we've been pretty clear that it is the um, the future platform that we are investing the most in, albeit these things take take a long time, right? These are multi-year journeys. So um, I hope that's helpful. Absolutely. We are continuing to try to do that. Um, we, uh, with the point A program, continue to push that, uh, uh, that line. Um, you know, you can look at SmartLinks, for example. SmartLinks started on our microserved architecture and now entirely served by Forge. Um, allows us to test Forge at Atlassian scale. I think it's the largest Forge add-on in terms of being installed in every single uh, Jira family uh, product and Confluence Cloud and obviously processing you know, millions and millions and millions of links every day. Um, and it has increased their productivity. I'm a deep believer that Atlassian should be our first best customer for almost everything we do. And uh, Forge is no exception there. Uh, we continue to push and find use cases for uh, Forge. Um, usually the internal use cases are really pushing the boundaries. So they come against a roadmap of things that I'm sure you would like to see in Forge. And we are, are trying to manage that judiciously. Um, at the same time as making sure that we have uh, as, as level of playing field as possible, right? If there are things that we deem that we need to build apps, uh, I'm constantly saying, how can we get those into our customers' hands? Uh, in this case, the vendors' hands um, in terms of you know, distribution, in terms of security, interaction, all sorts of different things that we, uh, we want to constantly uh, have this be um, uh, balanced, I guess, in an in a, in a equal uh, way. Um, and it's a pattern that we want to keep continuing, right? And so we are pushing Forge uh, as we try to mature the platform and also push the boundaries. Um, you're seeing uh, system level apps, multi-product apps, um, lots of new capabilities in Forge as we continue to work out how we can push the boundaries of that. Um, I would also point out, I think, um, a bunch of the Compass features are built in Forge at the moment. So system features that you might just see them as, as features of Compass are actually built on Forge as well as obviously a lot of the integrations. So the Compass Bitbucket integration, I believe is built on the Forge platform, the same way the Compass GitHub integration is built. And um, that helps us to build the best Forge platform, which we can all benefit from. Thank you everyone for your questions and for attending the event. Uh, if you take away one thing from developer day, uh, I hope it should be that you are in good company. Uh, the Alassian ecosystem since the very first Atlas camp many, many, many moons ago um, has always been made up of some incredibly thoughtful, empathetic, collaborative, you know, innovative, talented developers and companies uh, from our great industry. And I'm, I'm always really proud to be uh, a member of that community and, and always trying to spend more time in it. Um, thank you for sharing your feedback. Thank you for pushing us, right, to, to, to deliver on our, our promises and commitments to developers. That is um, exactly what we are trying to do. Um, our philosophies are always clear uh, and we try to improve our delivery all the time. Um, we have pretty big plans for the ecosystem as I think you've seen and um, we understand that we can't get there alone. So uh, great thanks for me for being a part of our ecosystem. Um, I very much look forward to the future. Um, you can always uh, email me if you would like to uh, have any questions. Until next time, uh, take care and have a, have a kick-ass day.